On this episode of Tea Time with Taryn, I'm going to review these water uh, brushes. I really love watercoloring. If you've seen my videos, you know that I'm really into it. And these looked really cool. So I bought a couple and we're going to give them a try and see how this goes. The tips seem fairly firm. They're a little more firm than the, the brushes I'm used to working with. Um, but they have these water reservoirs and so I think that it'll be fun I'll be able to work without a jar of water. So I'm going to start off with the smaller tip brush and I'm going to keep um, a Kleenex with me. It's probably better to use um, something a little thicker than a Kleenex but anyways that's what I have on hand so I'm just going to go ahead and try it out with my water um, with my inks. So far, I like um, I like that I don't have to put too much pressure. I was expecting for such thick um, tip pens that I would need a lot of pressure, but um, it's actually they're actually pretty easy to use. It does um, take a little bit of practice to get used to, because like I said, I, I'm more used to working with regular um, paint brushes, and these are more thick. I'd say there's somewhere between um, using a pen and using a paintbrush. So I have a lot of experience working with um, felted pens and soft tip pens. So I'd say they're a little bit softer than that. Now these ones are the Stamping Up brand. You can get a lot of different varieties and of course they're all going to work differently. So this is more of a, a review on this brand specifically. But I do like how easy it is to clean. I just um, press the reservoir when I need some water to come out and I just wipe off the brush on my Kleenex there. So I love how easy it is to clean up. I also um, ran the brush tip under the water with just a tiny bit of dish soap to really clean it up and um, they clean up very easily. It has stained a little bit just because of the ink that I like to use but um, that hasn't really bothered me that much. So these are watercolor pencils and I was just wondering about um, sort of the water ratio I would need when I'm working with something like this as opposed to say watercolors. Uh, watercolors I find are a little more forgiving and the inks that I use are a lot more forgiving um, than my watercolor pencil crayons. So the water does come out a little bit fast for maybe detailed work. So um, maybe I'll just try another um, test, but maybe this would be good maybe if I was coloring a larger area. And it could just be that I don't have that much experience, per se, with um, these pencil crayons. So possibly somebody who uses them more um, would have a better idea of how much water they need but I did find the water came out a little bit too fast for something like this. I had to keep um, dabbing it off. So anyways, we're going to move on to a project. I'm going to go ahead and give put these uh, brushes to the test. I've used the thinlets, the new ones from the Celebration um, sale through Stamping Up that I got for free. So I just cut that out, out of uh, watercolor paper. These are gelato. Gillette, gelatos. These are gelatos by Fabric Castella and um, all the links and information about the tools I use will be available in the description below. But anyways, basically um, they work similar to the watercolor pencils and they're more of a crayon consistency. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my brush and it, they work a lot better with this because I guess that this is a lot thicker than um, the pencil crayons. So I'm having a lot easier time with it. I picked some really bright colors. I love bright colors. I don't know what it is, but um, these colors just caught my eye and I thought that they would blend really well together. So I just went ahead and um, hope for the best. They, uh, they're definitely much thicker and I like how they blend. I bought some by uh, Recollections, which I believe is a Michaels brand, and they're a lot of fun too. 
uh, watercolor crayons. So if you're into watercolor pencils, I'm, I would recommend these. The, they're quite a lot of fun to use and um, definitely love the colors. So I will link uh, both in the description. Um, actually, it'll, it'll be on my blog. The, the link to my blog will be in the description of this video. And I actually post all the products I use in the links to where to find them on my blog. So the bottom piece is actually going to go on the, the card and the top piece I'm just going to use to punch the balloons out of. So of course I waited until everything was dry so I wasn't making a mess. And um, it makes for really pretty balloons. When I was a kid they had those sort of marble balloons and these kind of remind me of them. I don't really see them anymore. So I'm going to tape or glue down um, this bottom piece. I'm just using school glue. Um, I'm using watercolor papers and thick cardstock for my base, so I'm not too worried about it warping. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down, but I do want it to be solidly in place. I left that on there to dry for um, a little bit. So I'm really into brush calligraphy these days, and so I'm going to replicate the Celebrate Thin Lit. I kind of want a different look, so I'm not going to actually use the thin lit. I could have, and it, I'm sure it would have looked great, but I just wanted to do something different, so that's what I did. I, I'm i just planning it out in pencil just to make sure I'm happy with it. I'm not super confident in my abilities. This is a stamping up um, marker that I am using. It's a dual tip, so one side is thin, and then the other side has that thicker brush, so I can do a bit of a faux um, calligraphy look. I really love how brushed calligraphy looks. It's so fun and it's really in right now. I've been spending hours practicing. <laughs> so that part is done. I'm just going to erase all the pencil marks. So now I'm just going to plan where I want the balloons and glue them in place. They've been glued in place and now I'm just going to take that marker and I'm going to add strings to my balloons. So I'm just going ahead and draw them in. I actually have stamps that go with um, the, the punch but I kind of want to give it a, un a uniform look, so I'm just going to draw everything in. This is a water-based pen, which is really nice because it means it's not going to bleed through the cardstock like, um, for example, a Sharpie Wood, which is an alcohol-based marker. So that's one of the things I love about um, these stamping up markers. And it seems to be um, doing great on uh, this texture, which is more of sort of a, a waxy texture. So there you go. The card is complete. And that is also my review on the water brushes. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and inspiring. Um, thanks for watching my video. Please um, subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.